Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem basing on the very definition of the current. The problem is like this. In a closed circuit, current at an instant is given by I equal to 4 minus 0 0.08 into T, where T is time in seconds. What is the number of the electrons flowing in 50 seconds to the cross section of the conductor is? That's the problem. So we can solve the problem basing on the definition of the current as per the definition of current we know current is defined as rate of flow of charge dq by dt so we can write dq as i dt for us it is given in the problem i is a variable of time so in the place of i i can write 4 minus 0. 0 0.08 into t dt this is the small charge passing through the conductor in a small time dt to get the total charge in given time we have to actually calculate for each time how much of the charge is and we have to add all that charges together that phenomena is mathematically called as integration. So to get the total charge in given time, we shall integrate the above equation. Let's integrate that equation. That implies integrating this equation. That implies integrating this equation. Integral of dq is equal to integral of 4 minus 0 0.08t dt where the time is varying from 0 to 50 seconds because you want it in 50 seconds. We know integral of differentiation of q is q. Integral of 4 dt is 4t who is varying from 0 to 50 minus 0 0.0t 0 0.8 integral of t is t square by 2 who is varying again from 0 to 50 from where you got the formula integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that means integral of t power 1 dt is equal to t power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 that's nothing but equal to t square by 2 that's what we have written here so simplifying that equation we can further get q is equal to 4 t means uh, uh, you have to apply in the place of the t upper limit minus lower limit 50 minus 0 minus 0 0.08 by 2 t square means 50 square minus lower limit square 0 square so the value is 4 into 50 is 200 minus 0 0.04 into 50 square 50 50s are something like 2500 so simplifying this get it as 200 minus 4 into 0 0.04 can be written like 10 power minus 2 25 into 100 can be written like 10 power plus 2 this plus 2 and minus 2 can be cancelled 4 into 25 is 100 200 minus 100 that's nothing but 100 coulombs so the charge that you have got in this problem is 100 coulombs but be careful you are not asked to find the charge there is something else also to find out what he is asking in the problem is how how the, what is the number of electrons passing through it right so once you know the charge, we know the concept that charge is quantized. That is, charge is available as always integral multiples of charge of an electron. So you can get charge of one coulomb, I mean one electron, two electrons, three electrons, never two and a half electrons because the basic charge is charge of electron itself. Now you got Q as hundred coulombs. How many electrons we have to find out? We know charge of each electron is. 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs that implies number of the electrons involved in this process is 
100 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. We know 100, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 is 6.25 into 10 power 18. We have solved in the previous place also. So that's nothing but 6.25 into 10 power 20. So the number of the electrons that have traveled in this case is nothing but equal to 6.25 into 10 power 20. That's how we have to solve the problem. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.